Obsessive compulsive disorder is important to know about because, I don't know, you may have it and don't know that you have it. So here to tell us more about it is Sam. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a crippling anxiety disorder that causes a person to have repetitive thoughts and behavior. It all starts, starts with obsessions, which are unwanted thoughts that occur in the mind that cause a person stress. Obsessions include fear of mistakes, fear of germs, fear of causing, causing harm to others, excessive doubt, uh, need for order and exactness, and fear of evil thoughts. Now, a person is conflicted with these obsessions for hours and hours upon end. They just can't leave the mind. These are different from other thoughts that just pop into people's heads because a person is just obsessed with them. They just can't stop thinking about it. In order to get rid of this stress that occurs due to them, they have to perform rituals or tasks known as compulsions. Some compulsions include uh, performing tasks repeatedly, such as washing and bathing or checking items. Me, for example, I have what I like to call the lock clock syndrome. I'm always checking my clocks, I'm always checking the locks on my doors. I have to make sure that they're perfectly locked because I have some fear that somebody's going to break into my house or that I have some weird idea that uh, my alarm clock isn't going to go off. I used to have like five alarm clocks just to avoid this uh, horrible event from happening to myself. And that's the strange thing. I knew that these were really ridiculous actions. They didn't make any sense at all. However, I had to perform them in order to get the obsessions out of my head. Now, compulsions go hand in hand with obsessions. For example, if a person has an obsession with germs, their compulsions will be washing their hands or constantly using hand sanitizer. For some reason, hand sanitizer has become such an important part of our culture. Everybody's using them these days. However, a person with obsessive compulsive disorder will use them um, constantly throughout the day, almost after every activity. And people who wash their hands don't just do a quick run through of it, they go in depth with it. They thoroughly wash their hands with soap and boiling hot water and just scrubbing as hard as possible. There was once a case with a nurse who was afraid to give a disease to her child. So in order to avoid this, she would wash her hands 70 times a day. And she would wash it with boiling hot water and scrub so hard that by the end of the day, her hands were red and bleeding sometimes. Here's an interesting example. is fear of mistakes. Uh, a person who has a fear of mistakes may hoard their items. In this case, the person has saved every item that they've ever collected in their life. And look at it. None of it is, is useful. However, this person believes that if they throw something out, for some reason, they might need it later on in life. Uh, there are those who have the need for exactness, and this is manifested through constant arranging. A person will have to arrange something perfectly. So like I did earlier, I was making sure that my jackets were perfectly arranged on the table, or that the pencil and the pen were perfectly aligned, not out of place. This person here has arranged all their cans in perfect, maybe it's alphabetical, and in some cases it kind of looks like it's color uh, coordinated. This one right here fascinates me. The connection between the fear of horrible thoughts and having evil and unwanted thoughts. Now, the difference between these thoughts and any other thoughts that occur in the mind is that these are disturbing, sickening, and they torment a person for hours upon end that they can't get out of their heads. There will be thoughts like killing your family members or um, having sex with, with your family members. Just, just things that they can't get out of their head. It just drives them nuts. So what causes uh, this obsessive compulsive disorder? Well, there are bio biological effects. For the brain to work, uh, it uses neurons or cells that provide messages throughout the body. Now, in order to provide these messages, the neurons use neurotransmitters. 
Uh, the neurotransmitters come in many different shapes and sizes, but the one that links to obsessive compulsive disorder is serotonin. Scientists believe that a person with obsessive compulsive disorder has a low level of serotonin. Another cause for this obsessive compulsive disorder is environmental uh, stress. So this could be through abuse in relationships or stress from work or from school or anything of that nature. So I profess you're wondering, are there any treatments for this disease? Well, you're in luck. There are some very interesting uh, techniques. One includes the cognitive behavior therapy or the exposure therapy. And this uh, person forces themselves to face their fears and get rid of their obsessions. Normally they have somebody to motivate them because let's face it, it's very difficult to motivate ourselves. So they have somebody else do it. So let's say a person has an extreme fear of germs. A person will force that obsessive person to jump into a trash can, let's say, or force them to be around a bunch of germs and not use any sanitizer. Now here's the most interesting treatment I find, and it's called electroconvulsive therapy. Now this links back to the neurotransmitters in the brain. Scientists and doctors hook a person up to a machine and jumpstart their brain, causing them to have seizures, and, uh, allowing neurotransmitters to grow and building the levels of uh, serotonin. Now there are many celebrity, celebrities these days that have uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. One very famous one is Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes was the famous aviator and uh, movie director, played by Leonardo DiCaprio in The Aviator, in case you didn't know. And uh, at one point of it in his life, he became so paranoid, so obsessive, that he locked himself in a screening room for about four months, didn't clip his nails, didn't wash himself, and only consisted off of chocolate bars and milk. By the time he got out, he smelled horrible, his hygiene was terrible. However, he was, he was just so obsessed with things that he wouldn't let people come near him. So, although obsessive compulsive disorder cannot be stopped, it can be treated in many ways to help you live a fulfilling life. To live, to live a fulfilling life. Obsessive compulsive disorder can be treated to live a fulfilling life. Thank you.